Hi, this is Kristen from the Queen Anne's County Library, and today we're going to be talking about and making um, mosaic art using some recycled CDs and DVDs for our clay pot. Um, if you register for the program, you should have gotten a bag that looks something like this. Inside, we have one clay pot. We have some CDs or DVDs, and we have some puppy paint. At home, hopefully you have a good pair of sharp scissors and some kind of tacky glue, um, hot glue, something that you can use to, to glue the glue, the um, pieces to the um, pot. And also I'd recommend some safety goggles just um, just in case the uh, when you're cutting the CDs, some of the parts sometimes go flying. So it's just a little bit of safety. Also, I wouldn't recommend having small children around while you're doing it just for that reason. Um, so we're going to get started and first we're going to take our CDs and we are going to start cutting them into small pieces. So I put my goggles on. There we go. And I just, I usually just kind of cut through it in half. So I have two smaller pieces to work with. As you can see it sometimes likes to go flying. Um, and then you just start making little pieces. Any, any shape will do. And so I noticed with some of them, um, like that one actually just broke in half, so I'm not going to use that. But because of the shape of this, you have to be careful not to cut them too big because then they won't fit around the curve. So they are going to have to be in slightly smaller pieces um, just for it to work that, that way. Continue to do this until you have cut up at least one CD. Um, you may want to consider how far down the pot you want to go. For me, I actually um, kind of pre-marked mine. I didn't have any masking tape, but I used um, scotch tape to say that I was going to give that much space for my mosaic. Um, but you can go all the way down. It just kind of depends on how you think it looks. And I might even want to change mine once I start getting pieces on it um, as to far, how far down I want. Um, it also may depend on how many of these little CDs you want to cut. So as you can see, I now have a, a good pile of um, cut up CD pieces right here. And you're going to want to make sure that you attach them the shiny side out so it'll be nice and reflective when the sun hits it. And you're going to have to decide um, if you want to leave space in between your pieces um, to put the puppy paint, so put that and then you would do puppy paint around, or you can, um, I guess, trying to get them kind of tightly together so they don't, you don't have to put the puppy paint. Um, it's just a different look. It's kind of up to your preference. So we're going to get started and just take your glue, pick out a piece, and just add a little glue to your pot. I recommend starting from the top and working down if you are not going to go all the way down, um, especially if only the tape. There we go. So just adding a little bit of glue at a time. Sticking it on there. And then finding another piece that will work for next to it. That's what happens when your glue is almost out, I guess. I 
and you can be as kind of as precise as you want to be. I know I always feel like I'm a little bit too OCD to be doing uh, mosaics. I'm just trying to find the right piece. And if you find a piece like this one is a little bit too big for the curve, you just want to make sure you're cutting it again. There's actually, I left the safety goggles on, but I don't need it when I'm actually doing this part. So <laughs> let me take those off. And so you just continue going around, adding more pieces. So once you have completed your, um, your pot to your liking, as far as how much um, CD mosaic pieces you have on it, the final step, if you choose, is to add the puffy paint around um, the spacing in between the pieces. So you're just gonna take this and just fill in the spaces in between and sometimes can get a little messy. But just do the best you can. There's my my start right now. And you may have um, different colors than what I'm using. And try to go along the top, and then if you want to do on the bottom edge as well to give it kind of an even looking line. So as you can see, I have finished filling in all the spaces with my puffy paint and now I have my completed pot. Thanks for joining us for this video and um, I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll look forward to another project together. Thank you.